what the heck is a limited series podcast and do I need one? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing with my show? That's what we're going to talk about today. So let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today. And if you are brand new around here, Welcome, I am Crystal. I teach entrepreneurs how to start, launch, and market their podcast. And today, we are answering the question, what is a limited series podcast and do I need one? So I always tell people when they ask me like, well, what is a limited series podcast? I like to relate it to limited series that you see on Netflix, whether it is The Queen's Gambit, which my husband watched without me and I'm still a little butthurt about that one. Or Tiger King, which let's just be honest, we all wish we could get those hours of watching. I, I'm just, I don't even know that it's a tragedy, love story, very confusing, like all the things, right? Like that was a very confusing moment in 2020. But those are limited series on Netflix. There's a beginning and there's an end, right? So it is kind of like if you were to take one long movie and like that is what the entire thing is instead of it just being one movie that's an hour and a half or two hours, it is split up over several episodes, but it's only a season, right? It's not like, oh, wait for the next season. Like it's like, hey, we don't know if there's gonna be any more, we're just gonna call this a limited series. So that's what a limited series is. Now I want you to take that same concept and apply it to podcasting. And I have a few examples to share here with you today. So the first one I wanna talk about is totally related to my favorite book, Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. I've seriously listened to this audiobook probably six, maybe even eight times. I'm not even really sure because a lot of them like kind of blur together and I'm not really like a rereader of books. I'm like, okay, I got all the information I needed. Like I'm good, let's put it on the shelf or I'll give it away to someone else. But oh my gosh, I've listened to this audiobook so many times and I found out about, I think it was about 10 months after the book originally was published that she created a limited series podcast. Now this was before I started teaching podcasting, so I didn't really know what this was. Actually, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that uh, I'm pretty sure I waited for the next seasons to come. I was like, oh, there's gonna be more, there's gonna be more, and that's not the case. That's not what happened. But what she did is Elizabeth Gilbert, who you probably know from Eat, Pray, Love, come on, but she wrote this book and then about 10 months later, she released the first season of what she called Magic Lessons. These are different things that people have implemented inside the book, or some of them were conversations with her peers about creativity and what that means to them. So she was just taking her readers on an extended like part of the journey. It was like, here's your next step. Come hang out with us on the podcast, come listen to it. But what really, really surprises me is this book was published in 2015, the podcast launched in 2016, it's 2021 as of me creating this video and this podcast is still charting. This blows my mind. This is so, so crazy. So I love this example because it is a very successful limited series podcast. It's well done, it's well produced, and I'm just gonna say it's fun to listen to because like I said, it's totally related to my favorite book. Another example of a limited series podcast is Amy Porterfield's Talking Body. Now, the reason why I like using this as an example is because Amy has Online Marketing Made Easy, which is like the show that she's had for years and years, but this Talking Body podcast is totally different. Her Online Marketing Made Easy show is about marketing and about creating funnels and email lists and selling digital courses. So this is a very business heavy podcast. Talking Body is all about women and body positivity and understanding how like we just kind of go about our lives in our bodies, what we think about them, our mindset. It was actually a really, really good podcast. I enjoyed listening to it, but it was only 12 episodes. 
And she announced it in January 2021, whenever it dropped, hey, this is only going to be a limited series podcast. We're going to have 12 episodes. And then after that, we'll decide whether we're going to continue to have more seasons in the future. But what I loved about this is instead of putting the same information that was on Talking Body on her online marketing made easy podcast, she started a brand new podcast. This was very smart because her marketing people probably would have said, why all of a sudden are you talking about body positivity and you're like understanding your weight and like all these other things. So instead of confusing her audience, she just went and created a new one. But she didn't commit to running two podcasts simultaneously. She agreed like, hey, we're only gonna do 12 episodes of this. So this brings me to the point I wanted to make today. Is a limited series podcast for you? right? This is probably what you want to know. Like, do I need to do this? So here are a few things to consider if you're thinking that you don't know what kind of podcast is right for you. If you're creating a show that is based around a book, an event, or a topic totally unrelated than what you're doing right now, a limited series podcast may work well for you. Like I said, I gave you Elizabeth Gilbert's Magic Lessons podcast. Like that is a great example of a podcast solely dedicated to lessons around her book. And then you have Amy Porterfield's example of Talking Body where this was totally unrelated than what she typically teaches on a regular basis. So if you think that you wanna try something new and you're not really sure it's gonna fit into what you're currently doing, then a limited series podcast may be just right for you. But that's all I have for you today. So tell me in the comments below what questions you have about limited series podcasts and make sure you check out this podcast episode of The Profit Podcast where we go into even more detail behind a limited series podcast and how you can decide whether this is the right move for you. But make sure, if you have not already, that you subscribe below and hit the thumbs up on this video if you found it helpful today. Make sure that you check out these other videos right here all about podcasting and running your online business. And as always, remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.